of the governments of this country the stupendous sum of about seven billion five hundred million dollars we get some hundred million dollars is needed by the national government and the remainder by local governments. Such a sum is difficult to comprehend. It represents all the pay of five million wage earners receiving five dollars a day, working 300 days in the year. If the government should add 100 million dollars of expense, it would represent four days to comprehend. It represents all the pay of five million wage earners receiving five dollars a day, working 300 days in the year. If the government should add 100 million dollars of expense, it would represent four days more work of these wage earners. These are some of the boys in the earth? No. Engine's got a miss in it. Sounds good to me. Yeah, well, you must have some rust in the car. It hasn't been run much since winter. So, yeah, you boys wouldn't happen to have any firearms or booze, do you? No. Those are illegal. You want to come out and pop the trunk so I can take a look-see? No. What do you mean, no? Well, what's not to get? It's two simple letters, an N and O. Put together, they, they spell We can do it this way. No, it's too close for me. It ain't over yet. Get that damn back back up. You can put in the fan if you have to. I am. You should have stole a faster car. I stole such an ugly. We're after a bar. Wish they would have just taken that bribe. It would have been so much easier. You just get them damn spikes out. We get them off our asses. What to try these? You're gonna get the chance. Just shoot that. Damn it, don't they know they can hurt somebody? All right, don't dump them yet. Wait till we get to that turn before the bridge. All right. All right, you ready? Uh-huh. All right. Now. You gotta jump! I can't swim. You're almost 30 and you can't swim? No. Neither can I! This way. We're sitting here looking at beautiful blue skies instead of five years in a glass at Walla Walla Plantation. Not to mention that $10,000 fine. Shit, I'd rather drown. Yeah, me too. So we had to jump. So, some crazy fucker pushed me. <laughs> Is that what you're gonna tell old St. Peter when we get up to some pearly gates? Your old buddy Vic pushed you? I was fixing to tell somebody, but I doubt very seriously it was St. Peter I'd be talking to. <laughs> That's what I'm starting to think about you. You're a bad influence. Yeah, right. Hey, we better get going. 
That back guard wasn't looking too good last time I saw him. I think we might have killed him. We didn't do it. Nothing is ever your fault, is it? Hey, it ain't our fault you can't drive on four flat tires. Are we playing by any rules here? Sure we are. Fix rule number one. Rules are for pipe smoke and dog walkers don't like to have any fun in life. Call this fun? <laughs> Hell yeah. This is only fun if we make a bunch of money and we live through it to spend it. Now it's 30 miles to Colville. We better get going. They're going to have a dog test for us, all right? We better get going. Ah, oh, shit. I lost my shoes on the jump. Yeah, me too. Let's move. See if we can find a car on the way. I hear you boys had a close to call the other day. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't good. Not good at all. Guards, they got a real good look at us both. Mm. Not to mention your car. <laughs> They'll be coming for damn sure now. Well, you don't have to worry about that. We borrowed it from some poor bastard on our way through Colville. <laughs> but, um, but we can't take that route anymore. No. Not to mention that cop. He might not make it. We need to come up with something better. Quicker. That's going to take some planning. And then we're going to need to find something else to haul the stuff in. That wouldn't take a bribe? Nah, we tried that. You know, if you hadn't been so impatient... They already made us. It's our third time through that week. Let me tell you what I'm up against, boys. There's a mining convention next week. There'll be a lot of tycoons in town, like Kellogg, Comstock, half a dozen others. Then, of course, we have the rich boys. There's uh, Zellerbach and uh, Weyerhaeuser. Now, these two control half of the timber on the West Coast. They drop $1,000 a night each while they're in town, in my speakeasy. I like that. I want to keep them happy. I want to keep them coming back, spending their money in my speak. Now these boys, they're used to having the best available at all times. Now that includes whiskey and rum. The best whiskey and the best rum. Not that gasoline shit that Tiny is manufacturing up on the side of the hill. Hmm. Now, I need you two to tell me how you're going to fix this so that we will be very happy and much richer by this time next week. I think uh, this business meeting is over, boys. Wait, we Come can't... up with something soon. We, we can't drive it down, but maybe we can... Maybe we can bring it down by mules. I'm not dealing with no damn mules. You're bad enough as it is. Dear God, you two sound like you're in love. You can guarantee us $5 a bottle on our next run. We'll have your booze. And we'll have it here on time. And how do you propose to do that? Fly it in. Fly it in. <coughs> Fly it in. Oh, that's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. I, I, I suppose we should just get wings and, and sprout them and flap them and go across the border that way, huh? There's an old Searman for sale at Felt's Field. We'll go check it out tomorrow. If we can round it up, we'll get it up in the air the next day. And we will have your booze, Mr. Davenport. You have my word on it. 
You've got your five dollars a bottle. I have a question. When did you learn to fly? You don't have to worry about my flying. It's a done deal then? Done. Good luck. You can't fly. Sure I can. A little? Oh shit, I'd love to see the day you can fly a damn airplane. You will. Tomorrow. Boys! The door closes on the way out. Just because Nick had you flying around on the wing at a county fair upside down does not mean that you know how to fly. Sure it does. Like he's telling me a little bit. Just because he's not flying anymore doesn't mean he can't give us some pointers. Yeah, that's great as long as you'll listen. You know, we can make a, a pile of dough for real fast. If you learn how to fly, we can get two planes. Let's see how one works first. There's three speaks in this bird. We can supply them all. They're talking about repealing prohibition. Then what do we do? Start a distillery. There's one. Um, there's one over on uh, Vinegar Flats for for real cheap. You know, uh, we just have to make enough money real fast. Yeah, if this little brainstorm of yours works. Oh, it will. We'll fly real low along the river all the way to Canada. On the way back, we could even buzz the guard towers. <laughs> Hey man, we're supposed to be keeping a low profile. Louis was right. If if we're too flashy, we'll get caught quick. Yeah, well, Louis was just worried about Louis. Yeah, we can count on one thing. If we get caught, he will not know our names. We should head on down to Slack Alice and see what she'll pay. You know, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Only trouble is, can't see Alice without seeing her sister. Shit. She is sweet on you. How could I forget about that one? But you know what they say. Any old port and storm will do. I would rather ride out Noah's little storm in a rowboat than pull into that port. Hurry up, man. Hurry up, Don. I think they're waking up. Got it all wired up up there. Yeah, go, go, go. All right, let's go. Check that before we decide to steal this one. Well, let's just go steal another one. Let's go get some some gas. It's your siphon in it. What? Let's get out there and push. I'm not pushing a stolen car down. It's the not road. stolen, barred. Now get out there and push. It's a terrible idea. Just push it. Let's get some gas. Pretty nice viewer. I think it might be time to take it off the market. Yeah, we'll grab it on the way out. Absolutely. Oh, it's you guys. Ain't seen you boys for a spell. Yeah, we've been busy. So I've heard. Alice up there? Yeah. Suppose Kate is too. Oh yeah, she's all keyed up for you, Donnie boy. Shit. Tiny is too, so be careful. Alright. Bring us up, okay? Well, 
well, well, what brings you boys slumming? Oh, Don, you got a little lonesome. Kate, come see who we got at our door. Oh. Damn it, do you have to? <laughs> come on now, be a sport. It's nice to pat our eyes on some good looking guys for Jake. It sure is. Well, we got a little proposition for you, Dames. Hmm. Mm. Why don't you come on in? Nah, this is business. Oh, damn business before pleasure. There'll be none of that. Now, Don, just a little shy. <laughs> That's pretty good. How much you want? Seven bucks. You're killing me. Don't you know I don't have the high gluten clientele that Louis got? Let's try six. Hey, Leo. Try this. You know, if you had better booze, I might have a better class of riffraff. <laughs> Leo here will drink anything. Think about it this way, you can water it down and be like pennies for heaven. Yeah, like you won't. No, I just buy really good. Deal with it, but you will. in here. Yeah, we don't need Boys. to damage the goods. We'll go ahead and see you out. Looks to be pretty much top of the line. Oh, excuse me, boys. This plane isn't for sale right now. I've got work to do on her. I would like you to look at that one right on down there. We could make a sweet deal if you were to have a look at that one. Why that one? Well, I'm busy. Oh, with she's this. all right. She's all right. Let's take a look at her. Let's go see how much she wants. All right, how much you want? 2500 <laughs> and not a penny less. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll give you 1700 deal? God, 
You guys are crazy. I had two offers last week for 2000 This old gal is worth three. I'm making you a deal at 25 I, If I was to fly this plane down to Pasco, I could get three easy. Why don't you fly it down to Pasco then? Well, I'll tell you why. Sure you will. Last year, I flew down to Pasco. I came in a little low and I hooked the tail skid on the telephone line at the end of the runway. I got out. I had to pull 20 feet of wire off of it. I really kind of scared to go back there. I tell you boys, because I like you so much, I'll let you make payments. Oh yeah? Yeah, uh, a thousand now and a thousand five minutes from now. <laughs> and you boys have got yourself a sweet deal. Oh hell Gabby, don't go out and hurt yourself there. Tell you what, we'll take her. But we'd like to take her out for a spin first. Uh, yeah, sure, uh, you boys done much flying? Um, uh, yeah, actually kinda. Kinda? Oh, maybe I ought to go with you. No, 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 we'll be fine, we'll be fine. If you just get that all the crane running, we'll do the rest. Give us a hand. Looks a little different. Switch on! Wait, wait! Haven't you ever started a round engine before? No, I've only flown an Eagle Rock. You have to pull it through! or you'll bend a rod, sure as hell. All right, sorry. Okay, switch on. Switch on. Switch on. Sons of bitches! As soon as you get me out of this damn thing. Woo! See? Told you I could fly. Hey! Yeah, I guess so. Let's go see what he has to say about this plane. Bought that off that old coot, huh? Yep. Said he just had it overhauled, if you believe anything he has to say, that is. 
Yeah, but I think he did it himself, and that may or may not be a good thing. Yeah, well, we're gonna take it up for a little jaunt to Colville. Can you feel? Yeah, in a puke pail. Or somebody's dead on the wings and flap. <laughs> I don't know, Don, you up for that? <laughs> you can kiss my ass, Vic. <laughs> He didn't think too much of his first flight. <laughs> well, some can be more exciting than others, that's for sure. He thinks he's a pilot, being as he flew him around a few times on the wing. Hey, you remember that time we flew the plane under the bridge with them fishermen on top? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took us three hours to get all the fishing gear off the plane. <laughs> well, this is all very reassuring. <laughs> well, stop by any time if I can be of any help. Just like his daddy. enough to get us into a card game? Mm -hmm. Make it 150. Is that all you can carry in that little plane of yours? Well, no. Well then, who are you selling it to? Slack Alice. She's giving us eight dollars a bottle. God damn it! I'll give you 750 and I want Every delivery for the next two weeks. Eight. Eight. Eight? That is robbery. Well, then none. I already have another buyer. All right, Vic. All right. Don't be hasty. I need that booze. I've got a big convention and I am running short. Those boys, they love their rum. Take it eight then. <sighs> okay, but I want you to promise that I get every delivery for the next two weeks. Is that a deal? Sure, Louis. You got a deal. That's Mr. Davenport to you. Okay, so we best get going then, huh? Damn, it looks like rain. Yeah. Maybe we should just go scare up a card game. What do you think? There's fish in there to catch. Let's do it. Come on, we were just in there. Let us back in. Password. <laughs> Not without the password. <laughs> Give 
give me a minute. Open up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Come on, man. Let us in. Mother. Mother fucking load. Now open up. We got fish to catch. Mind if we join you, gents? No, not at all. It might change the luck. <laughs> yeah, deal me out. Vic Hansen. Don Collier. Noah Kellogg. Henry Warehouser. Good to make it Oh, damn, Don. Are we gonna split up a silver mine, a gold mine, and a lumber mill? <laughs> what do you got to lose there, rooster? <laughs> uh, he's no rooster. I call him more of a sparrow. Oh? How's that? Because he's full of shit and he chirps all day. <laughs> oh. uh, no, no, he's right. All I got is an old airplane. Really? I always wanted to go up in one of those contraptions. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'll take you up for a spin around the patch. I don't believe this man appears to be suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just play cards. What can I get for you, sir? Uh, we'll have a shot around, thanks. As I do. He said he was the vice president of uh, Amcon Mining. That's bullshit. He looks more like a G man than a miner to me. I think I saw him up at Bunker Hill last year when the government was inspecting up there. You know, I hate to lose this joint. We don't want to end up at houses. David. He's around here somewhere. Will we here? Yeah, we just came from his office. I think I'll slip this one out. Yeah, just as cards get hot, you bug out. Don't worry. I'll be back. I'll have this fine young lady sit down for me. Oh. Oh, no. I may lose. Hey, if that's all you're worried about, don't. There's plenty more where that comes from. I'm taking it out of the ground by the train load every day. Here, you sit down and keep my seat warm. Might even be a little something in it for you to keep here. Now these guys won't even know I'm gone. Yeah, she is easier on the eyes. Come. What's up, mister? Kellogg wishes to have a word with you. Certainly. Please, have him come in. Louis. Noah, you're looking well as always. Yourself as well. Thank you. Is there something I can do for you? Yeah. Your place is built itself up to be quite a little business since the last time I was here. Thank you. I might be short-lived, unless you do something about the government agent that somehow snuck inside. What? What are you talking about, Noah? It... Where? C can, can you point him out to me? The bartender said he claims to be connected with the Anaconda Mining Company. You can check that out. Yourself. The owner is a guy named Marcus Daly. He's seated over there with the cigar, gent at the far end of the left hand. Gene is the guy down at the end of the bar, black coat. Thank you. 
Rick. Yes, sir. Please. Yes, sir. Take Mr. Kellogg and give him anything he needs at the bar. Oh, will do, sir. Thank you, Rick. I'm the proprietor of this establishment. Mr. Daly, may I speak to you in private for one moment, sir? Sure thing, Mr. Davenport. What can I do for you? The gentleman at the end of the bar in the black coat. You recognize him? He says he works for him. Never seen him before. Certainly doesn't work for me. Has kind of a clean cop look, don't you think? My thought exactly. Thank you so much for your help, Mr. Daly. Go back to UK and have a wonderful year. I will. Thanks, Louis. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to ask. How is everything, Rick? Oh, very well, sir. Good, good. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to speak to you in my office. Why? Because you've entered my club uninvited and you're not here. The Anaconda. That's part of the problem, sir. I've spoken to the owner of the Anaconda, and he says you don't, and I intend to agree with him. So, would you like to follow me, or do I need to get assistance? Sit down. In that case, I'm Agent Bachman. I've been watching your little club here for quite some time. You might have to speak to my superiors about that, if you know what I mean. Sit the fuck down! Now, that was a much more truthful answer. So, what will it take for you to forget about our little club? 20%? 20%. That's very decent. So let's see. 20% for you. 20% for the chief of police. 20% to keep my boys happy. Oh, then we have the distributors. So let me see. Next time somebody comes in here and asks me for 20%, I should just give it to him. Fuck you! And fuck your police chief! I've been watching your flight boys. You might have to go down too. I'm with you. You're not going to say a lot if the speaking parts are missing. Get this hunk of shit out of my office before he spoils my new rug!
what you're saying is we clean the fuel out of the tank and we just fill her up? Yeah, I mean, we, we can carry twice as much without the weight of all those damn bottles. Sounds good to me. Well, we want you to drop this in the river. <laughs> Next trip. Damn. What is it? Maybe it's best that you don't know. Or you can ask Louie yourself. Well, what is it? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, shit. What is it? It's that guy from the other night. Oh! <coughs> oh, it stinks. Oh. Damn it, Louie. Damn it! Yeah. What is it, Rick? We're running out of rum and whiskey, Mr. Dapple. I know. The boys are bringing in another load tonight. We'll be fine. Oh, okay. Gotcha, boss. Oh, uh, Tiny wants to see you, too. What the fuck does he want? <sighs> With him, who knows? All right. Send him in. Oh, and by the way, Rick, can you make sure that that new shipment of glasses we got from Seattle is clean and ready for this evening? Yes. And can you send uh, hands up? We'll do so. What do you want, Ty? I think you know. Yours have been way down lately. I'd like to know what the hell is going on. It's like this. See, the uh, rich clientele that I have in my establishment, they like good booze. Not that gasoline shit that you're brewing up there on the hill. So we'd be flying the good stuff in from Canada. Simple as that. Well, let me tell you, it ain't as simple as that, Louis. The cops still gotta get paid, and my boss in Chicago still wants his money. You got a problem, haven't you there, Tiny? But ain't my problem. Well, maybe it'll get to be your problem when the shipments stop coming down from Canada and I gotta charge you double to make up for my losses. What makes you think you can come into my office and tell me what to do? I don't need your cheap shit gasoline, Tiny. Now get your ass out of my office, you little fuck, before I tell Hands to teach you how to fucking fly! Hands! This midget bothering you, boss? Are you calling a midget, you fucking overgrown gorilla? Prepare for your first flight! Good evening, boys. You know, I grew up with your families. In your houses, sat at your tables, shared bread with you. And I want to let you know, you boys have really got my butt in a predicament over all this booze here. And I don't like it. What's more, the feds now are looking to me for some answers on that missing officer who was snooping around. I am not used to this kind of scrutiny. They did find his body yesterday, though, over in Hilliard. It was a real mess after the 905 ran over it. But they haven't been able to find his head. Now, you boys wouldn't know anything about that, would you? No, sir. Well, I'm here to tell you. 
the rumor is the feds are now taking bribes from Tiny. So the heat is going to turn way up on this little rum business of yours that seems to arrive from heaven. Well, I'm sure that this will help keep them off our asses now. Again. For a while. But just for a while. Cut yourself? Nah, we picked up a pig for our barbecue this weekend. <sighs> you know, that asshole might have been over our house for dinner a couple times, but he sure as hell was never invited by us. Still a pain in the ass. Hey, you remember that one time he arrested us for driving that old motorcycle through the pool hall? <laughs> <laughs> we were just a little drunk. A little drunk. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't hit the back door. Oh, I hit it. Oh, yeah, I remember. I got the scars to prove it, too. I guess that's why this is all illegal now, huh? Hey, I was fine until you decided to try to fall off. I only decided to try to fall off because you decided to try and take a table with us. <laughs> We were safer in lockup that night. Yeah. He's still an asshole. Come on, let's go get the truck. Another 200 for dropping off that parcel. You know, I don't know what it was, but it left a blood stain in my hanger that the chief saw. Don't involve us in your dirty work. You already are. Look, I'm running a little short on booze. I need you to make another run. The problem is we can't carry as much as we want. The bottles are heavy. I've got an idea that might fix that. We'll spit it out. Look, well, you two that. work out the details. But be careful. The feds have been sniffing around and that asshole chief. He's starting to be a real problem. Just watch your backs, okay? That's all I'm saying. I told you he was an asshole. Yeah, we saw him earlier. We gotta give him a case of rum to keep him happy. He asked us about that fed that got run over on Hilliard. What did you tell him? You can't talk about something we don't know anything about. Good. That's very good. So, you gave him a case of rum. With what I'm paying him, he should be very happy. Yeah, well, I still wouldn't trust him. Look, I want you to do another run tomorrow. Getting a little pushy, aren't you? We'll fly when we want to. Okay, I'm just worried that I might run out. Now get the fuck out of my office and let me listen to my music. Suppose if we cleaned out that upper fuel tank and just filled it with rum? Just run our fuel out of the bottom tank? No, because as you use the gas out of the other tank, it's going to 
to throw the center of gravity off, you're going to hit the ground like a ton of turnips. Hmm. Well, we can haul twice as much rum if we just figure this out. Well, it'll work until you boys start putting vodka and whiskey and everything else in this damn thing. That's just the name of the game. We're going to go to jail for a little or a lot. <laughs> you can try it. And if it kills you, I'm going to be the first one to say I told you so. I said your breath. If it kills me, I'll be the first one to say, damn, that old Nick sure knew what he was talking about. <laughs> I don't suppose I have any say in this now, do I? No, Don. You make too much sense. Well, let's give it a shot. Howdy. Bet you weren't expecting us back so soon now, were you? Boy, we sure are a thirsty lot. Business must be pretty good, eh? It sure is. So good we could barely handle it. We're gonna need a whole barrel. Where are you gonna put it all? In the fuel tank. <laughs> oh dear. I hope you boys don't outsmart yourselves. I wouldn't worry about that one too much. Sean, and I'm going to inspect your plane. Revenue agent by what authority? By authority of the United States government. That's whose authority. I suspect you two of violating the Volstead Act. I mean, you've got this nice looking plane here, and you're supposed to be working for the railroads, but I don't really see you two doing much. Well, Mr. Uh, Revenue Agent, do you got any proof of that? Well, damn, Don, that thing sure was pretty. You must have spent a lot of time polishing. Yeah, okay. I've been looking through your log books. You guys have been spending a lot of time up in Colville. I'd just like to know what your business is. Well, see, my mom lives up there and she's real sick. Colville is mighty close to Canada. It takes the two of you to look out for your mother. See, if you had met my mother, you would know. It's gas! And it's full, sir. Of course it is. Just went up to Calvo and back. <laughs> Damn. And I thought that was the plane we were looking for. Well, uh, why don't you just tell us what you're looking for? You know, maybe we can help. Rum, mister. Illegal booze. I I'm sorry we couldn't have been more help. I guess it's just not your lucky day. Now, if you don't mind wasting our fucking time, I sure would like to put the old lady back together. Yeah, well, I'm going to take off for now. But you two have not seen the last of me. I'll be around. Well, I hope so. This has been a pleasure. Bye, Chief. Oh, look at that. Do a little in town. Louis is getting hot with the night. And we always was good for business. What's that he's got with him? I know, but she sure is lumpy in all the right places. Come on, let's go. Come. Well, how'd it go, boys? Good. Real good. Brought in, uh, over ten cases. Good. Chief came in to pay us a visit and he's still out there. He's not a happy guy. You know, you might want to have him over for one of your drinks, if you know what I mean. We got a real good thing going on here and uh, can't have him going back on our deal. You're right. We do have a real good thing going on here. 
You know, when those miners left, they were one happy bunch. I'm going to need another delivery tomorrow. By tomorrow night, this place will be packed with rip-roaring cowboys, and you know how much they like their whiskey. Then we've got the fly boys coming in for the races, and, well, we know that they're such refined gentlemen. Yeah, it's not a problem. You might need a little help with some uh, more bottling. What? What happened to the last two girls I sent you? I didn't see them for two days. <laughs> hey, bottling is hard work, Louie. They were probably catching up on some sleep. <sighs> right, sleep. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to try to keep Tiny off your neck, and then I'll try to sidetrack the feds, OK? I think you're right about Tiny. I, I think he's going to be really upset about our deal with Alice. As I've said before, boys, I think you are going to start a war. And you know damn well that I've had Tiny thrown out of here once. Yeah, I really wish I was there to see that. No, you don't. Wasn't pretty. She's here doing promotions on the air races with too little. Oh no. I've seen this look before. It never ends well. Why do you want to go and do a thing like that? She's just gonna break a little heart. This one's definitely. I'll approach her a little more caution. Sure you will. I'll believe that when I see it. You know, there's no talking to Emily just like this. Boys, boys, boys. Come on. I'll take you down and introduce you. your nickname, you little? Good. This is what I like to hear, friendly conversation. Hanson, are you really gonna enter that old crate of yours in the races? No. I feel real bad about me having a girl that high. <coughs> Kit, I'd like to introduce you to an associate of mine. This is Vicky Renzi and his partner, Don Corley. Gentlemen, I have the pleasure of introducing Miss Kit. Hawkins. What an unusual name for such a lovely lady. Why, thank you. Hanson. You know, I went to school with a Vic Hanson for a short time. Ah, I mean, my name is Vic, but I went to school on a little bump on the road halfway to Colville, in Valley. <laughs> so did I. For the first two years, you know, my name is really Ann Smith. Yes, you will be. You were always pulling on my pigtails. I was always trying to get your attention. Oh, you did then, and you are now. It finally worked. So what is it you do, Vic? I'm a pilot. It's Miss Hawkins, right? Yes, right? but I'm not married. I had to change my name for the stage. I mean, wouldn't you if your name was Ann Smith? Hell yes, I would. If my name was Ann Smith, I would have been beaten a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, a pilot, huh? So do you live here? Yeah. yeah. I'd love to take you up sometime. Maybe tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Yeah. I'd like to. Um, 
Vic. I'm sorry, uh, I'll be a little busy tomorrow. Okay. Boys have a little errand to run for me time. I have an idea. Why don't you all come to my invitation and big ball that I'm throwing tomorrow night at the hotel? That's a great idea. Kate, okay, you gonna be available tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. All right then. I'll see you tomorrow. Then. back to my old hometown, even though it is for just a short while. Now, would you like to hear something from my new album, I've Got a Girl? I'll take that as a yes. Now, uh, you think you can remember the way it goes? Hell yeah, I can even play it backwards. All right, you play it backwards and I'll sing it forward and we'll see where we land. like my mattress is about two feet thicker. Well, what else are we going to do if not doing this? I don't know. Go to Mexico or Cuba, somewhere soft. Start a distillery. Stay in Prohibition can't last forever. Shit, we're being followed. Can't really see, but it looks like fucking tiny. Louis right. It's going to get hot. Get out of here, man. Step on it. Get this show on the road. Kind of late for you two fly boys to be taking off, ain't it? It's my mother. She's taking a turn for the worse. Oh, yeah. That's the one that lives up in Colville, right? It's the only one I got. How many you got? You two are really some great comedians, ain't you? Oh, I am. He's a straight man. Well, Mr. Revenue Agent, hate to be rude, but we really gotta get going. Hey, Joe, how's that woman of yours? Yeah. She asked, how's your mother? Better than most. Tiny up there? Listen, I don't need this shit, all right? We could shoot you down tonight. Just let me go up the damn mountain, all right? Tiny. 
Haven't seen you around a lot, so I figured I'd come out and see how you little shit ass is doing. You know, if you are on here for some dough, we ain't got any. This is the first time we've started the still up in over a week. You know, that's not my concern. My concern is collecting the fee. The fee? Why don't you collect your fucking fee off of those two rum runners that are working my territory and they're stealing my business? You know, if you bastards would arrest those two, we might all be back in the dough. You know, another thing, the boss has been wondering what's going on. Maybe if I told them that you cops weren't doing your job, then we'd see what your fee looks like, huh? Yeah, well, we've had trouble catching them with the goods. Maybe you can do something about that, but that doesn't matter. What I'm concerned about is our fee. Those flyboys took off sometime after dark. They should be back around midnight. I think tonight's a good night for a snipe hunt. Not much of a moon and all, but that's not what matters. What matters is that we get our money and we get it soon, or you're not gonna like the next time I visit. God damn. When this batch is done, shut her down. Get your guns, boys, we're going to town. Those son of a bitches have pissed me off. All right. Yahoo, let's go get them. Time we did something. About goddamn time. All right. Son of a bitch has come over us to land. We're going to let him have it. Come, boys! Get. You look rather shit. My God, you are beautiful. 
Deaconess Hospital. Can you take me there? Of course. Can we go right away? Of course. Like all the important parts are intact. How's Tom? He's in pretty bad shape. He lost a lot of blood. Uh, the doctors, the doctors say they might not be able to save his leg. Bullet shattered his knee real good. Some booze up in Canada. It seems that uh, the natives aren't really too excited about that. They've ruffled enough feathers to put a pretty big tiger on their back. Well, I guess you couldn't exactly call the cops in a situation like that. No, not to mention local police have brought in a couple of federal agents and they're all on the payroll. Some big galoot named Tiny. Especially the condition Don's in. Getting killed comes to mind if we do anything. Hmm. Will you let me help? How? Oh. We're in this way too deep. I can fly. It's <laughs> not bad, it hurts too much. What? <sighs> I can drive a car. I can even work on it. I'm sure you Why can't I fly with you? Besides, why would you want to? I thought you were Drew Little's girl. I'm no one's girl. My mother left when I was seven. I never knew why. My father passed away after being kicked by a horse. I was ten. Billy took me in and raised me like I was his own. I've never met anyone like you. So when I heard what happened, I got this feeling in my stomach. I thought I'd never see you again. So don't leave me out here just flapping in the wind like other people have done. I can't take any more heartache. Jimmy would just be here today and gone tomorrow. All right, miss. If Mr. Hansen's going home tomorrow, he needs to get some rest. Can you come get me tomorrow? Of course. What time? The doctor comes in at 10. Okay. See you at 10. Okay. Sorry about the bottom of the noise. It's okay. I'm just glad you're all right. At least your feet won't hurt tomorrow. <laughs> You didn't want to dance with me? You, you can't dance, right? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever tried sober. <laughs> Come on now, time to get. Yes, Miss. 
to this book. Nick, <laughs> you look like hell. What happened to you? That fucking tiny and his gorillas caught me at the end of the runway. That was that was you with the light. Yeah, I was working late. Seen him come in, grabbed the light, and went down there. Thanks, man. Doctor said I get to keep my leg. They don't have to hack it off. But my eye's gone. There's nothing they can do to save it. Sorry, buddy. Looks like your flying days are over. What am I gonna do now? Not much work for a boy like you. We always talked about starting that cellar. Maybe my dad could find you something. Oh, thank you. Uh, Pin installs. Thanks, but no thanks. Look, I'm gonna go look at a, a speed mill over at Quarter Lane tomorrow. I'll chill my phone. You go get that plane. I'll be up there in two weeks. You watch. You'll always be my partner, but I don't think you can fly. You got no depth perception. Why not? It'd be no different to fly with you. Well, let's take my plane tomorrow. How is it that you have a plane? Well, it's not mine. It's my dad's. I do a couple stunts at the Wild West show. It draws a crowd. You sure it's the plane? You must be on drugs. <laughs> Yes, is uh, Vic Hansen there, please? Oh, I see. Uh, yes, could you tell him that uh, Louis Davenport wishes to speak to him as soon as possible? Thank you so much. See me? Yeah, Vic. You're looking well. Can you sit? <clears throat> Heard you boys took a nasty spill. Yeah. I'm all right, but Don, he took it real hard. Lost an eye. It's gonna take some time, but it's coming around. Still alive, anyway. Glad to see you both made it. Look, Vic. I'm just about out of rum and whiskey. When do you think you'll be well enough to be up flying again? You're about out, huh? Yeah, out of everything. Well, I got a new plane. We would like to try it out. We? What, Don's out of hospital already? No. I'm training a new pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Who would be dumb enough to go up and train as a pilot with you, Vic? Kit, she's not dumb. She's just adventurous enough to try something new. Besides, it's not hard spending time with her. We try to go out a couple days. I'm going to be out of everything tomorrow night. I want you to do a run tonight, Vic. Be careful. You're going to piss me off again. I need the booze, Vic. Nine clams in. I gotta pay for a new plane. You know, 
we had a real good thing going until you decided to get greedy. We done did. Yeah. Tiny. I see you're taking up with those bastards now. They have good booze, but my customers like it. Don't act like that in here. That's going to cost you $100. Get out of here. You best enjoy it, because that's the last you're going to see. Don't go doing anything stupid now. happened while we were up there. After we were hit, the whole plane just lit up. Stayed that way for a few minutes. That's the enormous fire. Whatever it was, oh. sure was neat. Oh, I'm so glad that you were concerned about our well-being. I figure if we're going down, we're gonna have to have a lot of fun with it. Oh my god, look at the hole in the plane. I can't believe we got out of there. Yeah. It's a good thing I was with you. Thank you. turning out as a pilot. Oh, damn good. You know we were hit by lightning last night. If it wasn't for her, I would have been laid out on some field somewhere because I was knocked out cold. You okay? Yeah, I am now, but I had a hell of a headache. Speaking of aches, that one in our ass was outside the club last night. He said that he's going to get you and me. So I'm warning you, we both better watch our backs. Knock, knock. Yes. Vic was just filling me in on your adventure of last night. <laughs> <laughs> when can you have the plane ready? You know the races of this weekend. Oh, we'll have her stitched up and back up in the air in no time. Good. I have a lot of money riding on that. Vic. Hey, good as new. Oh, thank you. Sorry I wasn't much good with this hurt wing. I didn't notice any difference. Nah. Well, Kit, you ready to go up and take your first spin? Yep. You guys have fun. Thanks. Thanks, bud.
glad it stopped raining. You had a plan, right? Oh, yeah. I've been wanting to bring here for weeks. One of my favorite spots. starting to rain again. Jeez, good God, Houdini. You got anything else in that bag? Oh, yeah. Where's that fucking Frankie? He's in Chicago doing a job for Al. Oh, fuck. Who else have we got as a dropper? Bigfoot Bob. Nah, he's too sloppy. Uh, I need somebody that can jimmy an aircraft. I know just the guy. He thinks he was an ace in the war. He's got a steel plate in his head. And he's not all there, but he knows the way around a plane. Can you get him? We solved that problem already, boss. No, we got one of them, but uh, there's a team running this thing now. Boss, this is Ace, the guy I told you about. So you can make an airplane crash? You cannot make an airplane crash. What a question. You moron. I'm not used to asking a question and having the person I'm speaking to make me sound stupid. All right, sorry. is a nitty. Capone, you idiot. And I guarantee you, you do not want to meet nitty. Damn, I gotta be the one with the plane in my head. Okay. Hey! Dawn! Oh my gosh, it's so nice to see you out. Mm. It's, it's good to be out of that damn hospital. You gonna fly with me? No, oh, my arms don't really feel all that good. Besides, it's your promotion and... I really should stay around with the old Gimp, make sure he doesn't run into anything. I'll see you when I get back. Bye. Have fun.
There she is. Sure can fly. Safety wire. Hey, kid. Yeah? Where'd you get this? That man over there told me to give you. What man? It's the nut and safety wire that hold the control cable on. Little son of a bitch. I told you he was dangerous. I just didn't think he'd go after your girlfriend. Yeah, well, I was supposed to be on that plane. I don't know how I knew it, but he knew it. Since he shot us down in those two G-men, too. I think it's about time that whole operation has got up and now it's Spokane. Goes up in smoke, if you know what I mean. That still is like a little fort up on the side of that mountain. Just how do you expect to get to it? By air. Wouldn't be a problem with it. No, it wouldn't. I think I know just a little too much about what you do in your spare time, Pete. Well, not only did you get a plane for sale so soon. Well, I sell things. Things? Yeah, things. You got something you want sold, I can find a buyer for you. Why, just last week I was going on down to my... Right, I already heard your line of BS. How much do you want for the plane? You're not wanting to fly it before you buy it, are you? Maybe. Oh, uh, I can't watch. Well then close your eyes then. I'm gonna take you for a little spin around the patch. Don't you worry, Gabby, I'm not gonna crash a plane. Just don't do any of those there hoopty doos, okay? Oh, did I tell you this one's got one of those new fangle radidios in it? You mean radio? That's what I said. You must have had trouble in school, huh? Go prop me up.
boys. Hey, Nick. We need to figure out how to mount a machine gun on a plane. I guess the question is, where are you going to get a fucking machine gun? Well, those National Guard boys next door, they just got a brand new one, and maybe, just maybe, we got the old one collecting dust. Besides, a little bit of rum might just cloud their judgment enough to make anything seem logical. What are we still doing standing around here? Let's go visit the neighbors. Get in the car. I ain't riding in the stolen car. Ah, oh, it's not stolen. It's borrowed. You're riding in a borrowed car. We're gonna put it back. <laughs> All right, well then, well then just tell us, how do we mount it on the plane? Where can we mount it on the plane? Actually, you can put it on top of the wing. You can stand in the seat, shoot it from there, like you used to do. Yeah, just like old times. You fly, I'll shoot. No, no, this is your harebrained idea, not mine. I'll do it. I'll fly the damn plane. No, you can't fly. You won't be able to see how close we are. Just tell me when to pull up on the radio. We need to serve up some payback. You know, that just might work. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not going to be that easy. Sure it is. <laughs> no, it ain't. Nick said to put the gun on the wing. On top of the wing? On top of the wing. How are you going to reach the gun on top of the wing with that windshield there? I didn't think about that. Hell, we're just gonna have to take it out. All right. Fuck, it's those rum runners. Closer! Almost there! Oh shit! A little closer? Is that close enough? Yeah. Right there. You check the water and the oil. Oh, and don't forget about the windshield, sir. You get them? I fear the still has been destroyed. Whatever will we do? Yeah, I'd get the hell out of here. I'm in a hurry. You can see the fire from town. Yeah, I know. We got at least three or four of them, if not more. Well, you're gonna have to change your identity. Cause them feds and them Chicago boys are gonna be looking all over Hill and Washington for you guys. Tell them boys we said thanks. Where are you going? I don't know, let's see. Heads Kentucky, tails Tennessee.
those years I drag them down All those years wild and free Then the revenue will come And shut it all down False steps and got the best of me Now my hands are shaking My head is aching Snakes are crawling over me My hands are shaking, my heart is aching, snakes are crawling all over me. My hands are shaking, my lips are quaking, snakes are crawling all over me. My hands are shaking, my lips is aching, snakes are crawling all over me. Give me a drink. I can't get clean, no more booze, I'm gonna get mean, oh Lord, give me a drink, I can't get clean, one more night of gasoline, give me a drink, I can't get clean, this little steady acting oh, is killing me, give me a drink, I can't get clean, one more night. Walking the street Somebody get me a goddamn drink. 